We're moving from basic absolute value problems to more complex absolute value problems and graphing complex absolute value problems. It's useful to consider the absolute value as what we refer to as a piecewise function. And uh, what a piecewise function does, a piecewise function is a function that has separate parts um, based on the interval for the input value of x. And if a piecewise function is going to accurately represent an absolute value function, then they have to have the exact same output for each input. So what we do is we have to think about what are the intervals going to be. Well, the interval are going to happen, um, your two different intervals are going to be when what's inside the absolute value is negative and when what's inside the absolute value is positive. And the nice thing is, as long as there's a uh, linear function inside the absolute value, then it ha it, that, that is separated by a zero. So when is this zero? So 2x plus 3 is zero at negative one and a half, or negative three halves, or negative 1.5. So those are our, where our intervals come from. So our intervals are going to be from negative infinity to negative 1.5, and from negative 1.5 to infinity. And we do that because now we can look at the absolute value and say, inside this first interval, any value I put in for x, this 2x plus 3 is going to be negative in that interval. Right? If you plug in negative 4 or negative 7, you know, negative 7 gives you negative 14 plus 3, which is negative 11. You plug in negative 300, you get negative 600 plus 3, which is negative 597. Every value, x value in that interval makes for a negative um, output. So what we have to do is we have to, um, but when you apply the absolute value, it then becomes positive. So now we need to come up with positive answers, um, but without the absolute value sign. So what we do is we change the signs. And so 2x plus 3 becomes negative 2x minus 3. Now if in negative 2x minus 3, if I plug in that negative 7 I talked about before, I get negative 2 times negative 7 minus 3, which equals positive 11. When I plug negative 7 in this, I got negative 11, but I took the absolute value, which is 11. And so I've shown that for the input negative 7, the output is the same in my absolute value function and my piecewise function. And then for its positive, well, if it's going to be positive in a region, then you just write it as it is. You know, for instance, 0, 0 is 2, 2 times 0 plus 3 is 3. Obviously, it's going to be the same thing down there. It's always going to be positive so that you can just remove the absolute value symbols and you'll get the same value. So now this, f of x equals 2x minus, negative 2x minus 3 for that interval negative infinity to negative 1.5. And 2x plus 3 has the interval for negative 1.5 to infinity. This piecewise function matches it perfectly. You do need to consider 0. Um, and so you could, at either one of these, you could make it inclusive of negative 1.5, and both of them are going to give you zero at that negative 1.5. That They have the same value there, so it doesn't matter which one you do. You can use this to solve a problem like this. We already know how to solve this. 2x plus 3 equals um, 5. So what we can do is we can solve that for zero and make our function 2x plus 3 minus 5. And so all I need to do on my piecewise function is just subtract 5 from both of these. And then I solve it for both intervals. This one becomes negative 2x minus 8. This one becomes 2x minus 2. And I find the zeros of those two intervals. The zero on this one is x equals negative 4. That is inside this interval. So a solution to this equation would be x equals negative 4. The other solution is going to be x equals 1, which is also inside this um, the correct interval. And so that means um, that it's also a solution. So the solution to this equation is x equals negative 4 and x equals 1, which you can verify using more traditional ways to do it. And so that is understanding is essential to solving more complex absolute value problems, which I'll do some examples of um, uh, as well.